soccer ball one of the best tools to carry the message of Christ to the nation? Can it be used to break down barriers, build relationships, encourage community, forge unity, develop character, and point people to life in Christ? In my life, God has taught me my most valuable life lessons through training and competing as an athlete. Sports speak to me, and I feel blessed that God has grown me up in soccer specifically because he's shown me that it's a language spoken in every nation. As I've traveled to Mexico, Brazil, Angola, England, Kenya, France, and Norway on soccer mission trips, I've been consistently amazed at how coaching and playing this universal game enables missionaries to quickly dive into revealing the heart of Christ to total strangers. In any attempt to connect with somebody, you know the vital first steps are relating and resonating with them. The platform soccer provides to accomplish this is truly a beautiful pathway into the lives of a worldwide community that breathes, speaks, and lives the game. In my own life, soccer was my lifeline. It was how I dealt with hurt, let out frustration, gained popularity, sensed accomplishment, and defined myself. When I was five years old, I prayed with my parents to ask Christ to be my savior. Also at age five, I began playing soccer. Growing up, I struggled through my parents' divorce several deaths of family members, a good friend, and a teammate. I knew God was real, but found it hard to connect with Him, and relied on soccer as my escape. I did really well in school and stayed involved in my youth group at church, but I felt confined to a moral religion of do's and don'ts that mostly kept me out of trouble, but left me dissatisfied and restless. God often used injuries to remove soccer from my life for a while, so I could regain the value of seeking to make Him first in my life. But after numerous short-lived attempts, God switched the entire game plan when I showed up to live my dream of playing first division college soccer and went from being a high school stud to an often injured, sideline bench warmer. After a severely frustrating freshman year, everything I was struggling with came to a climax when I was hit on my bicycle by a truck going 70 miles per hour. When I woke up on the pavement, I instantly remembered crying out desperately for change in my prayer the night before. I immediately knew that since I should have just died, God was taking action and was going to use this accident to get a real hold of my life. Everything in my world changed. Soccer was over for me that year, and my focus shifted on pursuing an overwhelming craving I had to understand who Jesus really is. Grappling with Jesus' perfect love began to change the way I saw life and shape what I got excited about investing myself in. Before long, God gave me the responsibility of leading FCA at my college and being a youth group leader at my church. These tasks both drove me deeper into my reliance on Christ to lead me so I could lead others and enabled me to discover the gifts God's given me to encourage and teach. It was this major transition that has caused sharing Christ through soccer to become my incomparable passion. My testimony is how God transformed me from idolizing soccer as my identity to finding my real identity in Christ. Jesus uses soccer to reveal himself through me and has given me a passion and ability to communicate the hope of life in Christ in a language that any soccer enthusiast can grab hold of. Over the past six years of being actively involved with soccer ministry, God has shown me that the fulfillment and impact I've experienced by using soccer to see people come alive in Christ is not merely a phase in my life, but a calling on my life. I've explored and counted the cost, prayed, and been tempted to stray. But now there's nothing else to do but trust and obey. I commit to this call. When each of us hears our call in our own lives, let us say together, Here I am, Lord. I am yours. Send me. Please consider if you want to join me, help me continue to use the soccer ball.